Hey, what's up, you guys? So, it is another Weekly Cast podcast episode. This is episode 8. <laughs> so, they're talking like shit. 30 seconds long. They're talking and shit about so how my intro loud. is long and professional. <laughs> and he turned it down last time, and it was still loud as fuck, and I had to turn it down. It is professional, oh this it's intro. Professional. Yes. Anyways, like so I'm going to explain to you guys our topics for today, and, okay, so we have these topics. We're going to have random people calling, that's what we're going to be talking about. We're going to be talking about mint commercials slash unnecessary ads, cool liquid resistance spray, um, breakfast at restaurants, and my tits. So, you may be confused by my tits, but my tits always confuse people. Like Mia today. Anyways, um, so yes, I have Hector here. Say something! Say oh, hi! Oh, okay. Like, hey, what's up? Hey, my name is Hector. I can hear you. What? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> they can. My, my name is Hector. Okay, yeah, see, they can hear him. Yeah, I'm... I know we have Kara here, my co-host, they, as usual. They already know me. I'm not even saying hi. And she's kind of sick, so her voice is going to be like this sometimes. She doesn't sound like Justin Bieber when he first started. I sound like Justin Bieber when he first started. You know you want me! You know you care! Or like the boys' choir. Never? The boys' choir at school. Boys' choir? Nah, not even. Bo- I'm not even calling boys, you men's choir. I'm calling okay. you boys' choir. No, no. I mean, last year was horrible. They're I think I think this good. year. You guys aren't even that good. You guys are okay. Only because that cute guy Alex is in there. Who's that? I want to see him. They used to have that one. I want to see him. That one thing for uh, for uh, Roberto. Yes. He has the one thing for everybody. <laughs> no, I'm not everybody. <laughs> you're a whore? He no, I'm not. What the fuck? <laughs> Are you a whore? I think you're a whore, honestly. Oh I am God. not a whore. I am not I was, a whore. But I like to do it. <laughs> you're just gonna know. Anyways, let's get to the first topic so we can go through this. Um, so, random people calling. Don't you guys hate when you're in school? Have you ever gotten like that random phone call? You're sitting in class and your phone's ringing and you're like, What the fuck? Where am I getting a call from? Because it's like a period you don't expect to get a call from. And it's like a fucking telemarketer or like some random person prank calling you. And they're like, congratulations, you want a brand but new you're car. In your mind, you're thinking that like somebody in your family is like dead and you answer and it's like, hi, would you like to buy some lotion today? And it's like, are you kidding me? It pisses me off. I mean, I never thought that. I do. I'm like, I I'm... worry about my family. What? Well, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I guess that means I don't. No, do you, Hector? I, mean, I, don't, I don't know. I don't have a phone. Okay, so you guys. You just had one out. Guys, it is fucking like. You know, Colorado, we got our laws all fixed and shit. This nigga comes to my house. <laughs> hi! And he thinks we can't notice. It's not even true. It's not even I true. I smell your jacket and I see your eyes. My eyes are perfectly normal. Your eyes are red as They are pink. It looks like you have like some kind of vagina like disease. Pink eye. Not even. Not even. Not no, not. it looks pretty bad. Oh, please. I don't smoke marijuana because because it's legal. It's okay, but last bad. year you were sitting there when we got the computers and you were showing me how much money you can make being a weed. <laughs> <laughs> I remember you. Yes, I okay, did. I did. Okay, fine. You. That okay. is so funny. <laughs> I know. If he can do that, then why don't he just buy me a damn boyfriend? Like, come on. <laughs> I could buy you like a sex doll. Oh my god. You fuck with sex dolls. No, I don't. Do they sell guy sex dolls? I'm pretty sure they do. <laughs> they're, they're Shia LaBeouf dolls. <laughs> Anyways, besides Shia LaBeouf, I heard on the, like, okay, I was watching TMZ the other day with my, da- uh, with my dad, and he's doing this stupid, this campaign thing, where he's in, like, this little, like, studio room, and he's, it's like his I'm sorry campaign or something like that, or something, oh, some shit like that, because he thinks people hate him all of a sudden out of nowhere. I don't know why, where he got that idea from. And he let in, like, a whole line of his fans to go in the room and do anything they want to him. He can't do anything back. He can't talk. I can just... And then there's this one story. That's exactly... It, there's a, <laughs> it goes with dicks. There's this one story, oh he said, God. where this one woman stripped him naked and raped him. And I'm like... He didn't stop her. So... <laughs> and I he, doubt it's rape. He's like, he liked sure it. He, he liked her rape. finger up his butt. <laughs> she's like, how do you like this, bitch? I can imagine her just being kinky because she's just like one of those freaky fans. It's like, mm-hmm. that's nasty. Ew. I mean, what? Guys can get raped too, though. I know. I'm not saying. But then some people don't believe that. I told that to one of my friends, and she's like, no, they can't. 
how? And I'm like, bitch, they can. I mean, don't guys like older like male predators go towards like little kids more often, like guy little, like boy little kids? Though? Yes. Yeah. More often than the girls. The creepy old men. That's gonna be Hector in about ten years. <coughs> 20, Twenty years. My bad. Sorry. Once he starts getting the wrinkles on his forehead. <laughs> what? <laughs> wrinkles in my forehead? Like wrinkles on your forehead? Why? Like the permanent yes. wrinkles, like the ones Why? that stay there. Why? Because you worry too much. Well, once you're older, you get Well, wrinkles. never mind. Under the influence, you don't worry too much. I'm not. <laughs> He's like, dude, I'm like Cheech and Chong. I'm like, chill, foo. Did you know that I think it was Cheech? He was on um, Dancing with the Stars. What the fuck? He's like 100 years old. What the Is fuck? He? He's yeah. old. He's he was old. on it, though. I think he saw that. <laughs> oh, my fucking God. That's what, my, that's what I look like for um our show. Uh, for like the sixties, no, for the sixties, because we go through time periods, and mm-hmm. through the sixties we do this like hippie song, um, and I wear like this headband, and my hair just like totally does that thing. Mm-hmm. I have the fucking like ve- like leather vest. Oh my god, I swear, and my hair is just all out and long, and I'm like, I look like a really fucking long. hippie. I look no, just the way it fans out and all nice, and it's, mm-hmm. I look like a fucking hippie. I'm like, oh my god. You could have been a hippie back then, or was that? I mean, probably. I probably could have been. But I wouldn't be like you. <laughs> Dude, I like... I don't smoke. Any then what's wrong with you? I, there's nothing wrong Are with Are you just me. mentally slow? No. No, I am not <laughs> mentally slow. I am not slow at all. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I'm buttoning my pants because I'm, un- I'm uncomfortable. I'm trying to get comfortable. Go fix yourself in the bathroom. What, what am I going to say? Oh, sorry, guys. I'm going to go fix my pants right now. <laughs> yeah, what'll well, take five seconds? <laughs> um, so back to those random people calling. Hector, do you get those calls in school? No, I don't have those calls. I get random calls, though. You mm-hmm. lying ass. I don't. You lying ass. I'm not lying. I'm not lying. I don't have a phone. I'm not even going to say anything. True shit. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, um... Sorry. But I always get the random calls that are like, I see that there's like no safe number because it's just random numbers. And it's like a number not from my area code. Our, Denver and Colorado, whatever, is like 303 for house numbers and 720 for phone numbers, for cells. And they're like random numbers, like 680. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? And this has like California. And I'm like, why is a motherfucker from California calling me? And I know I probably got that wrong, but whatever, like, I don't understand. I answer. And what like, do you do when I call you? Do you freak out? No, your is. number's saved. But what if I were to call your like, house phone to be like, or I don't need like, number like that? Uh, I, I don't know. My parents would probably answer because they answer every call, no matter if they don't know where it's from. So. I, I I remember getting a phone call once, and this guy was just like, like you can hear him breathing a little bit, and I'm like, <laughs> I can hear you because they're like, and then I get a voicemail later on. It's like, sorry, wrong number. And I'm like. Really? Are you that stupid? <laughs> Are you that stupid? I don't really get calls anymore, but I used to a lot. And oh, it, how do people even get your be, number? It'd mainly just be prank calls, and it'd be my friends like from like a long time ago, uh-huh. and they'd like call me, and then they'd prank me and act like I don't know who it is. What was one of the pranks? Like, do you remember? Before I was even here, it was like two years ago. I, was, I remember I was threatened once. You were threatened by a random person, a stranger. I think I knew. I knew. I had an idea who it was, but I wasn't sure. Was it like a joke? You think? Oh <laughs> it shit! A joke. Oh Hector! It was a joke. I was scared. <laughs> what middle school? No, it was high school. Oh great! Like, I'm freshman year. Oh great! I was like, fuck! Like, what if I? Yeah. What if you fucked with the wrong people? Yeah, yeah. What if it was her ex girlfriend? I don't know. Rosa? Rosa? I don't know. Oh god. <laughs> yeah. Crazy bitch. Nasty. Nasty bitch? Yeah, nasty bitch. Was she like a freak? No, nah, she just looks. She's just disgusting. <laughs> she's just disgusting. That's all. What? Like how? Like our tits saggy or like? Everything's saggy. Like. <laughs> Like, it looks like Did she had a kid. Did you check her pussy? It looks like she had a kid or two. Oh. You haven't seen Rosa? Is her vagina like... I don't know. I, I never fucked her. 
Oh, you never got close to the Long John Silver. I, I, I never really <laughs> wanted to, actually. But, uh... You didn't want that. Oh my god. They don't know who that is, so, I mean, we're fine talking shit. I don't know who that is, either. Some random bitch from like a long time ago that I didn't like because she's annoying. Let's move on to mint commercials. Fucking mint. Speaking of um nasty people, uh, we're gonna be moving on to a nasty topic. Like, okay, mint commercials. So what the fuck? Like you... M I N T, right? M I N T. Yeah. Is it weird. Mint. 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 <laughs> mint. Is it like a min? Like a minute? Like five min. Look, it's the fucking <laughs> it's accent, mint. okay? Mint. All because you're Red Mexican. Accent. Mint. Yeah, but an accent. He sounds more white than he does anything. Else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wouldn't be white, man. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> so wow. you add an accent to your voice? No, I don't. <laughs> okay. No. Anyways, um, so what? what the fuck? I don't get because so there's some unnecessary ad there in the world, and that is like okay, mint commercials. It's like you can brush your teeth <clears> just before you're gonna go on a date and meet someone. Mm-hmm. It just pisses me off. I'm like, what the fuck? I don't like those condom commercials, though. I'd rather talk about condom commercials than mint commercials. <laughs> because their bodies are, like, warped together, and they're, like, dancing along the screen. I, I haven't seen that one. They act like sex is really like that, I like you dance. I think it's Trojan, like, ecstasy or something like that. And they're in, like, a huge, like, room, and it's, like, all white. And there's, like, other people, and their, like, bodies are, like, twisted together, and they're, like, walking. It's just, I hate it. What the fuck? It bothers me more than mint commercials, though. Mint uh, commercials. You know those, un- we're even, even, okay, so one long time ago, me and Kara and her friend, um, we were watching on YouTube some fucking oh. 90s commercials. <laughs> I looked up worst 90s commercials. Oh. We, what was that one product you put in between your boobs at night? It was like this little plastic but thing it, that it, looked like a salt it, shaker. It looks kind of like a really small shake weight. Yeah. Like, it has that, like, that like 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 this and then hourglass shape down and it, yeah it's shaped like a plastic hourglass and you're supposed to put it you put it in boobs. between your boobs and it keeps and them from like smushing yeah. together when you lay down on your side so you don't choke and suffocating you <laughs> what it was stupid though it's like um i don't even know are you uncomfortable with your breasts and by the i don't know what the fuck it was called it was stupid mm. there was a lot of unnecessary commercials there was like Okay, back in the 90s, they had, like, a lot of playset toy commercials. Mm-hmm. Like, the little, like, construction crew playset toy thing. It's like, you're going to lose all those pieces in about an hour. <laughs> the first hour, opening the box. <laughs> and then... But it probably takes, like, five hours to put it together. Uh-huh. Yeah. Because we were so stupid, we couldn't figure it out. I never could. You like, never if there were tracks, directions. you just throw them away and you figure it out yourself. If there were tracks, I couldn't figure out how to put them. Like, if it was supposed to be an eight and it didn't tell me that in the box. Oh, like train tracks? Yeah, or shit like that. Like, a city or train tracks. city highways and shit like that. I always just played with the cars wherever the fuck I wanted. And my mom would get mad and she'd be like, don't play on that table. Ah! And I'd be like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm going to play where I want. It's not like your tables are going to be here in ten years. They aren't. You know what I never completed in my whole life? What? Those Lego sets. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've always wanted I, to. I never used Legos to build what they were for. I just made whatever I wanted to. Yeah, I just made whatever the fuck I wanted. I, I never actually. I used to try to build things from other video games. I didn't even know how to build anything. I just put stuff together, and if it worked, then I'd, I'd be a car. Would you say the new Lego is Minecraft now for little kids? It's all they play. It's the new I mean, Lego. They like building shit, even though they can't. Yeah, build shit. they have it like in fucking computers now. Like, like in those. They're making it a class, and I'm like, is that necessary? Lego class? No, a no, Minecraft, Minecraft class. Minecraft. And I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. In like weird countries, though, obviously. But I mean, no, if you think too. about it, though, they can use it for like the whole literally building houses and stuff. You know how there's like those things when you go on your computer and you like make the stuff on there, you know? Mm-hmm. Maybe they're just gonna make it into like Minecraft type of style. Mm, I don't know. I mean, Minecraft <clears throat> is fun though. I don't blame them. I mean, it is. It is addicting. I used to love playing with Legos and building like weird ass little fucking things. And then now Minecraft just took that and I'm like, where the fuck is Lego now? Gone, obviously. Yeah. yeah. It's fucking addicting. You, you sit there for hours and you don't realize it until like. 
you see the watch or something. Especially me. Sometimes I find myself, I'm like, okay, I'm going to record. I need to figure out what to do. So I'm going to fly around my world and see what the fuck I can build for the episode. And then I end up for 30 minutes just flying around looking at things like, oh my god, I built that so nicely. Oh my god, look. And then I build more shit and I'm like, fuck, I'm supposed to be do you planning. Ever play like on survival mode? I do. Play? I, I'm... Okay, Kara's a beginner. It's fucking hilarious when she plays. Stop. I don't know. I hate Oh my god, it's a spider. Oh, I'm because, dying. Okay, so like, <laughs> I don't like to use the things to spin and look at the same time. You're well, supposed to use I'm both. She's that. like, okay, wait, I can't do both things at once. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> down to figure out what I'm doing. I'm really bad at it. I don't know why. Dude, isn't that how you play like Call of Duty and shit like that? Yeah. So you don't know how to play Call of Duty no, either? No, I don't know how to play anything. Can't you pat your head and rub your tummy and then switch? No. I can't after like a whole second of adjusting. <laughs> yeah, after. Yeah, after I figure it out, I can, but... No, Hector obviously worry. can't right now. <laughs> <laughs> He's incapable of sitting up perfectly straight. Stop denying it. <laughs> what was that stare? What? He was looking off in the distance like, what is life? <laughs> no, not even. I was processing. It's because I can't understand everything at once. It takes me time. Like... Especially when I'm high. Can you just explain to us what high, like, what is it? Is it like a slow computer, like my computer? Like, is it just like, <laughs> is it loading and then the page just does that thing where it goes down like this slowly? I mean, is that what your mind is doing? No, no, it's, I don't think everyone works like this. I'm, like, retardedly slow when I'm high. Most of, like, very slow, but I don't know. <laughs> you had to think so hard for that. Huh? I, I had to, because. That's funny. It's just everything's blocked. Uh, do you know that drops your IQ every time you do it? Really? And it doesn't go back up. Your IQ doesn't go back up. Do you expect it to just spring back up? No, it stays down. Nah. Yes. Especially just... when you're a kid and your brain's still growing, it fucks you up even worse than when you... I think that's what they're doing right now. They're like, you know what? Let's make it legal and let's research people. They're fucking researching people and I mean... Let's look at dick. You're probably down to like 10. <laughs> 10 IQ. Nah. 10's pretty low though. I mean, what's your IQ? Shit, I think. I think I got like. 69. I went on Facebook and I did this stupid oh, little 69. test. It was like, because you know, 69. Facebook has all those dumb ass quizzes. <laughs> it's like, what is your IQ? 69. <laughs> I think that's actually pretty low, though. Yeah. I think mine yeah. be like, might be like a hundred something. Almost 105. Which yeah. I don't know. What, I don't know what that means. Mine's 420. I think 100. Uh, 90. <laughs> I think it's 90 to 120 is average. 420. Yes, 420. <laughs> <laughs> I think 90 to 120 is average. This game what just fuck, this game just fucking updated by itself like some kind of the fuck I'm not even touching the I'm fucking controller. On the controller actually. His ass is playing the game. <laughs> nah. Hector's ass is literally playing Air Mech Arena on fucking By the way guys, I'm going to do a series on that. Oh my god. That's not even a cool enough game. It's kind of boring. I might only last for like 10 episodes and then I'm done. <laughs> 10 episodes is too much. You can do like one episode. <laughs> one 30 minute. Just kidding. No. You put your standards up so high for your YouTube account and you get so behind and you post everything on one day. Damn. Blast. Blast. <laughs> She's saying that just because my Thanksgiving marathon only made it to 10 episodes and not 70. And his Halloween one was supposed to be like 100 and something and it was no, like at like 90. 70. Six, ninety six, but it was at sixty five. But I mean you still wait like a whole week to even do anything and then you're like recording and fixing and then you post every single one of them on the same day. <laughs> so there's like nine new episodes on a Dude, weekend. that's so dumb. <laughs> that is so dumb. Just do one a day. Yeah. Why don't you but do that? But the thing I think is even though it's all gonna be all in one day and the people who aren't who are gonna will be overwhelmed when they look at my channel, they're gonna be like, Oh, what did Oscar post today? Holy shit, there's twenty new episodes at once. But you do they that can on catch weekends. up. They can catch up, and then the people who are way behind, they're like, "Oh, I can. I have a lot to catch up on." And yeah, they don't have to okay. be like. That, that they don't have to be sense. waiting. That does make sense. Because I don't like waiting. You're I'm like, oh, I have to wait for the next right. episode. But it's it's annoying when I go on your channel to just I just like to watch your vlogs, and I go. All the vlogs are buried. I understand. I know, and I gotta go through like twenty episodes to find one vlog and there's like 10 again and i'm like are you kidding me which is why i like don't have watched them like half the time wow everyone find kara's channel and just because i i'm like the only friend who doesn't do youtube stuff throw it she doesn't understand she don't 
understand. She don't. <laughs> you would understand that I'd either. I'd probably be like reference. Angel if I did YouTube. I'd no, post, Angel like, understands more. But I'd only post like once or twice a week. I wouldn't do like multiple things a day. Okay. That's your style. Yeah, this is my style. Every YouTuber has a different style. Shane's one daily. Uh-huh. Fucking... Then There's this one guy YouTube. I know, nobody knows, but his name is like S-S-O-H-P-K-C, it's like Seamus or whatever. He up, he's prolific, which means... Heck, because Hector won't know. He's a... I don't know what that means either. He's not like that bitch boy face. Except his is like, bitch que? Bitch que? no sabe. I work at IHOP, okay? Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Uh, but yeah, he doesn't understand. Prolific means you upload a lot, or you do some a lot of something. So like I mean, you. so you can have he's worse prolific, than me. You can have prolific <laughs> sex. Uh, yeah. You can be prolific sexually. Oh, sexually. Are you prolific sexually? Uh-huh. Lying. At, that's why you're fucking a father. It's not even. I was tricked into that shit, dude. Tricked? Like I mean, she tied you down? Hurt. Like you got raped? Nah, nah. I'd be like, bye. Raped. Like Shia LaBeouf? She stuck a finger up your butt? No. Nah. <laughs> he wishes. <laughs> He's like, I wonder. Nah, not even. Let's not start with the penis. Let's start with the finger. <laughs> a chubby girl's finger. Ew. That is like a she, toes. She's not chubby, though. Isn't that that one chick? Jenny? Yes. Nah. Oh, it's a different bitch, huh? Yeah. How long have you been wow. dating this girl? Who? The girl you got pregnant. We were supposed to be fuck buddies at first. And I'm asking how long you But then you together. fucked up, buddies. No, then she got emotional. I was like, you know what? I'm going to handle it for a while. <laughs> I want to stay with him. And uh, we lasted two months. And then we broke up. Oh, my fucking God. Crazy bitch. Because she was crazy. The she... girl is pregnant right now. How long have you guys been together? Me who? I don't know her name. Who? Your baby mama. What about her? How long have you guys been dating? On the next episode of Jerry. <laughs> 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 Nah. Da, da, da. I always that remember a hard the fucking music. To answer? Nah, nah, nah. We were dating for two months. Okay, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Two months. At least he didn't last two weeks like my last ex. I mean, uh... okay, but being pregnant. I don't have to worry about pregnancy. After dating for two months. No, we actually fucked on the first day. So. Oh my god, you're nasty. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Nasty. That is not nasty. That is no. not clean in my standard. No, no. Hey, it's Paris. Paris, go away. <laughs> um, Paris has standards, apparently. Who's Paris? Paris Houghton. Really? <laughs> no, it's just the character. Doesn't that hurt? No. But me banging my elbow against the table? It's a cheap wooden table. Well, sorry. <laughs> okay, so it's I want to talk about the cool liquid resistance spray. So. There, I call it cool liquid resistance because it, it's just called liquid resistance, I guess, I think. Um, it's like this weird-ass new spray that came out, and it's probably going to be in stores soon, and it's probably going to be like $60 a can for like a can the size of this damn water bottle. That's plenty, Oscar. That's a shitload. Why would you want so much fucking... <laughs> where, where you but like $60 for a water bottle? Would you pay $60 for one but water you're, bottle? You're not going to drink that shit. Well, you're not going to drink it, I know, but you're going to be like, you're going to spray it on your shoes because it's going to, uh, anything you pour on it, even like chocolate syrup on white shoes, it's going to wipe right off. It's just going to fall right off. It's going to like literally slide okay, off like that. But I don't think you need that much spray. Exactly. Exactly. I'm pretty sure you can cover like a whole well, yeah, you don't, clothes. But, but the one, thing is, I, not even what I would do can. is I'd be like, ooh, it's so cool. Look at my fucking shoes. Now you can spill anything on it. I'd be like, what else can I do it to? You know, you get that feeling of. What the fuck else can I do? Does like when a toaster toast? came out. Back in the 1930s when a toaster first came out, what do you think bitches did? They're like, I wonder what else I can toast. My mom a shoe? A and they started like throwing random shit in there and started toasting it. Nah. My mom had this friend and she used a toaster and it caught her hair on fire. <gasps> yeah. Was it a weave or like real hair? She was, How the fuck did you toast your own real hair? They were drunk. She told me to real hair. She just put her hair in the fucking oven. Nah, She's like, I'm going to straighten my hair like no, this. They were probably fucking. What the fuck? Your shit. I don't think moms like that. No. I don't think so. This is boyfriend. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to think about my mom. Oh, you know, oh, fucking shit. other people. So I don't like to think that. I don't like to think about my family. Do you like to think about your mom like that? My mom has. Liar. Yeah. 
I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, just like music. I just don't like thinking about my family having sex. Have you ever heard them? Yeah. It's so I do nasty. all the time. It's so fucking nasty. Especially my brother and his girlfriend. Oh my god. Because their bedroom is right under my bedroom. Like, I'm like, like this is their room right here, and they're like right above me. And our bed is like kind of in the same spot. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like 2 o'clock in the morning, and they're drunk as fuck. And I can hear them. And it's just like, oh my god. Oh. Okay. And I told them that I'm... I can hear them. And they're like, okay. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck, I was trying to load the fucking video. <clears throat> For what? The liquid resistance spray. Keep talking about your family's fucking. Uh, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't even want to know about my dad and his girlfriend. It's nasty to think about it. It really is. Like shit. Especially like thinking about them fucking to make us. That grosses me out even Don't more. Don't fucking say it like that. That's <laughs> fucking nasty. Sexual intercourse. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. There's something in here. It's so weird. It's what so weird. the fuck? <laughs> there it is. You got it. Okay, I'm trying to search this okay, shit up. Um, I can't it's fucking on your find shirt. it. On your Argyle shirt. Argyle? Is that what it's called? Those, uh -huh. those diamonds? Yeah. Um, He's on. wearing a black Argyle shirt. You said it like a fucking fashion professional. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It's just hard to not to I mean, it's, so it's white. all right, nah. It's fine. I mean, I don't it's wear like it. a preppy white guy. No, it's because that's how you dress. A preppy white guy. Uh huh. No, you dress no, like a white guy. No, you I really not, do. I'm not white though. You dress preppy sometimes though. You really do. How? Oh my god. How? You have those shirts and those right fucking now? button ups and shit. What's oh wrong with this shit? It's not preppy. It's preppy. I don't act preppy though. It doesn't. That doesn't matter. From a distance with your big ass glasses. Fake. Fake. Okay, but still, they're still glasses. They're on your eyes. Uh, yeah, thoughtopotamus. <laughs> Who me? I made up that word. What thought, is that? Thoughtopotamus. Thoughtopotamus. It's like a fat bitch thought. Are you making fun of me? No. <laughs> You know those ratchet <laughs> hoes in the fucking hallways? Like the girl at our school who looks like... Like they wear that, skinny uh, no, jeans? No, precious. Oh my... No, no, no. <laughs> no, but they wear... No, they no. wear skinny jeans and then they're, they're like... She's they're awesome. like these ratchet lupes. They wear skinny jeans and then their stomachs hang over and they look like a snow cone. Rosa. Yeah, that's fucking She looks Rosa. like a snow cone. You wear... She looks like a scoop on top of a fucking pointy cone. You wear your pants over your stomach if you're fat enough like that. Dude, bro, were you there <laughs> Wait, when... is Rosa the girl with the big ass mole right here? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, Ew, she's wow. the fat, chunky one with saggy tits. She's not that fat. She's pretty fat. She's really not. She's, she's way thin, skinnier than me. Great. Now they're going to start auctioning weed. Fat. I see that on Facebook. They're going to start auctioning That's weed. That's so stupid. That's yeah, stupid. right. You're going to go buy it. You're going to be like, auction, I want it, 300. <laughs> then you'll go to jail because you're like 17. How old are you? I mean, obviously. How old are you? I can't fucking find this thing. Dude, where are these my phone? Uh, I thought you didn't have a phone. I do have a phone. It's not my phone. <laughs> oh. oh. Literally everybody has that phone. I know, because it was free. Even nine-year-olds have phones. I bet you some of my subscribers have phones. That's what they're watching right now. <laughs> Everyone has phones. I don't have a phone. What are you having, having in your hand now? Right now. What is that? I have I mean, Did you, you know they have apps on phones where you can like download like a like an like a continuous yeah, I looked, vibrator? Yeah, yeah, it exists. I looked it up once. And I why do you it. okay, why are you looking it up? You're not even a woman. Where would you shove it? No. Would I you would, just sit it under your just balls curious. and just let your balls vibrate? <laughs> no, I, was just, I was just curious about it. But yeah, there really is. Yeah. I don't know if it damages. I your would phone, never though. put my phone on my vagina. Unless you get the liquid resistance sprays. <laughs> <laughs> but the people did do that. In the video, they showed like they opened up the phone and they sprayed every little piece. They dropped it in the water and it, it worked just fine. The water just slipped right off you, of it. Your phone isn't even. Your phone is waterproof, isn't it? But what happens if you're like you have your vibrator? Ver, <laughs> <laughs> what happens if you have your vibrator on and running, and then you're just in there pleasuring yourself in your room, and then you get a phone call? You answer it. How would you answer it? You answer it and turn it off and answer your phone. What if your okay. vagina answered your phone? Would you like speak to your vagina? Would you be like, hello? 
Oh yeah, I'm busy right now. Okay, call me later. Oh, I queef, sorry. I mean, uh... I don't it think would just girls be really awkward. can queef like that. I mean, I know girls can queef, but I don't what? think it's, like, that easy. Hector to knows about queefs. Well, yeah, I mean, you used to... But is it that easy to queef? How do you queef? queef. I don't know how to queef. When you're forcing <laughs> the dick into a girl. <laughs> right? No, you could just queef in general. No, no, you get air in it. That's all. That's all. Only when you, if you ever like put like a good dildo in there or something, and you, <laughs> like you show a good dildo. Yeah, what just, does a bad dildo do? Like, I don't know. Not put it it's like not big enough. Does it cut up her roast beef? No, it's just not good. Ugh. <laughs> her Arby's. What? It's does more it like Arby's, Arby's than it is roast beef because it's not brown. I made a Snapchat I'm about it. Black. No, because I think black, black people have. I think they have pink vaginas. Yeah. I don't Unattractive. Know. Unattractive. I don't think black girls are like. You don't like pink vaginas? I don't like black vaginas. <laughs> you ever watch porn and I see mean, black vaginas? It's no, so weird. I don't. I actually don't watch black porn. It's like another porn. It's like another pair of lips. I don't like it. See, it's. I think it's hilarious. Or those videos, where there's this white guy and this black girl, and the black girl is superior than the white guy. Oh, it's portrayed as that. Superior. Yeah. Oh. I don't like black you know, guys. Like yeah, she's yeah. a dominatrix, you mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, God. Look, look that shit up in this video. Like, oh, no. I don't know what I'll dominatrix was to me. Oh, I only knew, oh my like, God. Bondage, so I was like, what's dominatrix? And she had to tell me, and I was like. Was oh. she laughing when she did it? She walked away, and she's like, I just had to tell my daughter what dominatrix was. <laughs> <laughs> she acts like she knows what it is. Was she when she was young? She probably was, and she's not telling you. About her sexual life. <laughs> Literally, I'm the only one in the family who has not lost my virginity at 16. How old are you? I'm 16. Mm. <laughs> my mom lost hers at 16, and both my brothers lost hers at 15. And I'm still like the only virgin, like virgin Mary. Head in the clouds, and I'm getting pregnant. Sorry. Your tone. Oh my god. Do you think Ariana Grande is going to get pregnant within the next year? Yeah. With who do you think? Me. Ew. She, she's not even that She doesn't even know who you are. She doesn't even know your relevantness. She'll probably hear this one day and she'll be like, oh my god. Why would she? They're I'm the stoner. smallest YouTuber there. No, actually, they're smallest YouTuber. There's like people with like three subscribers. You search Oscar Ramirez. There's like people with like zero subscribers, but they have like 20 videos. <laughs> and they're just not even their videos. They're like shared videos or favorite videos or <coughs> uploaded of like sports. And it's like, bitch, no one gives a fuck. I wouldn't know. Nobody gives a fuck. I don't look at them. Like, do you have porn? Nah. Why do you have it on camera, nigga? Nah. You recording? Why do you have it on camera? You you recording? Huh? Fuck you. Una sola foto. Why do you have your fucking phone in Spanish? Are you really that like? <laughs> Freaking Brian is. Brian is. His fucking phone is in Spanish. I'm like, Brian, I cannot understand the what your phone on says. The side. I Underneath the volume button. That's one thing we should talk about is phones. The I, lock button's different on every single phone. I know. There's always like, it's underneath the volume, or it's above the volume, or it's on or the it's other side, here, or it's on the, the top, top, or it's on the bottom, or, or it's on the, the back. Left side, or it's, it's on the back now. Their phone. I'm always like, what the fuck is the button? And they're like, and I'm like, wow, really? Like the gas Isn't that is... a bad idea, though? Why? Just, I mean, every time you put it in your pocket, you put pressure in it. I don't think you're... It's probably, like, censored to, like, heat. I don't know like how it works. Phones. See, like, my tablet has the fucking button above the volume, which is annoying because my phone, I think, is opposite. Is it? No, my phone has it on both, two different sides. that phone is it doesn't have the thing on the side. Like mine does. What is it? It's the same as yours. But it's not. It's an older one. Hey. Say hi. Why are you taking pictures? Stop taking pictures. You're just kidding. No. I'm making a remix. Anyways. How long has it been recording for? What time does it say? 34. Hold your ass up. Ah, that's it. That's it. I got my permit. I got my permit. Cool. Uh, even though you know you just drove with without a permit, so I mean, I mean I don't think it's really important. As long as you don't get caught by the cops. Yeah, because you need to have someone at eighteen in order. Fuck the law, dude. 
respect the law, dude. Well, just, he... Let's talk about breakfast at restaurants. What if you guys? Do you guys ever? Okay, do you guys go out to eat for breakfast? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I did the other day. Yeah. For the you, first time. Do you do it often? No. Oh. Uh, since when? The last. Was last year. Oh my god. I do it every weekend. Yeah, yeah me too. I think it might be Mexican families, families or just fat families in general. Yeah, fat asses. But see, I go with either Jenny or my or my family. Because Golden Corral, oh my god, the people there. Yeah, no, we just Male or female, out. you have titties at Golden down. Corral. You have titties. It's like a strip club, but both male and female. The titties, the amount of titties is hilarious. My god. But yes, Um. so... When I go to breakfast, I always go to Golden Corral on Sundays. I don't do it every Sunday. We only do it when we have money. Village Inn, bro. Village Inn. Village Inn breakfast. You guys are that cheap. Just kidding. No. I, I like Village Inn. I like Village Inn. We just went on Sunday. Saturday? Saturday? Yeah. Yeah. I got waffles because I was pissed off. Because I was sick and I was pissed. I was really pissed. Asked for, Is that your pissed off asked food? For hot tea. And they gave me this, like, green tea shit and, like, a really hot, like, you know, like, the waffle, not the waffle, like, they gave me, like, a burning hot glass thing of hot water and I couldn't even pick it up. So I got pissed off and I was pissed off because I couldn't have a full waffle, I could only have a half a waffle. <laughs> so I just, I was like, whatever. Like, the so fucking I had to lady. Get a half a waffle. Was it a full place or was it, like, empty? I feel like Village Inn is always empty. Halfway, kind of. Like three old people. After my mom and I got there, there was like three or four people waiting. Were they all old? Yeah. There's always old people at Village and those quiet little restaurants because they're like, I want to go eat pie. Marjorie, wrap the cream on my backside. Under the left arse cheek. You sound like Southie. Oh, Marjorie. Well, I mean. Okay. You better come to jail. <laughs> Fucking South <laughs> Um. What the fuck else? Okay. Um, do you guys get the same thing every fucking time when you go to Village Inn? No. That no. was the only time I went to Village Inn in like five years, so I don't know. <laughs> Me, when I go to fucking Golden Crow, I try to try something different, but I always end up with fucking eggs on my plate with something else, scrambled eggs, with That's some kind of fucking, always sausage, always. You don't like bacon? They, I always put bacon in everything I eat when I go to Village Inn, everything. Every single thing. Maybe on a salad. Their bacon's no. a little bit too greasy, though. I don't care. <laughs> you don't give a fuck. I don't care. You'll stay fat. Hey. Yeah. The fuck? It's Video? <clears throat> That's a thing we all do nowadays. Well, huh. Since Snapchat came out and Vine came out, people are like, is it a video or a picture? Yeah. You know, they're like pointing it at you and you're like, is it a video or a picture? It's a video, and you're all smiling. You're like, take the fucking picture already. <laughs> oh, I've seen those. I've seen those. <laughs> it's hilarious. I should do that one. I was thinking of doing all like the uh, like doing videos that ins inspired me on Vine, like the shit prank. I showed you that one. Remember? No. The guy was in the stall, and then he had chocolate oh, syrup, and yeah. he was like, Ugh! and then he just splattered all over the person's shoes, and like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I like the pee one though. We just yeah. has a water bottle. He's just squirting it on the floor. The person like they're like, oh, what the fuck? He, he slips and he falls. I couldn't tell if that was his ass cheek or his side. I don't know what that was. It was hilarious <laughs> though. <laughs> I'm like, he better run before he gets his ass beat. One thing I want to learn about Vine is how the fuck do you record without hands? They either I have another person a... recording. That or there's a thing where you can. But I don't know what that is. Like I'm probably I'm a new. No, you have to like hold down. Like you have to hold it down as long as you want the the part of the clip. Isn't there like like one of those things where you like hold it and it just takes video for twenty seconds? It's only six seconds. <laughs> twenty seconds. It's six seconds. But like as long as you hold your fingers, as long as that part of it is. So if you hold your finger for like to hold two seconds, it'll go for all two seconds, and then you get to go to the next clip. <laughs> My vines are crazy. Your vines are dumb as fuck. <laughs> You're dumb as fuck. I know I am. At least I'll admit to it. You know who's dumb? You. Mikey. Yes, he is. We can both agree and relate because we both hate him right now. Is that a penis? I hate him permanently. No, it's not a penis. 
I was snatching my friend's donuts because, oh my god, I hate when that fucking shit happens. No! I keep stealing Mio's donuts all the time. Which one's the one that I like a lot? Oh. Fuck your homework! Uh. <laughs> I, I love Kara's cry. <laughs> I don't want to say cry. <laughs> your, your crying sounds like a, like a little five-year-old. It's hilarious. Shut up. <laughs> no, those are all Miles J's ones. I have like five of them. I do. Five of the Miles J ones. I was like, don't make me scream. Oh it's fucking hilarious. That was in English. It was. They were in English class. Because English class is our, is our like failure class. Don't you have a class like that as a failure class? Where like nobody does work. The teacher doesn't give a fuck. She tries to give a fuck, but like no one's going to listen to her anyway. So, Do you have Miss Robinson for English? No, I have Miss Ron. It's oh, she's fail- the one right next to her. Yeah, but it's a failure class. Too. Oh, she doesn't? That that one? And, and she's then- like, okay, guys, let's listen. Nobody gives a fuck. No, no, no. And I'm, I'm in an IB class for uh, fifth, and it's like contemporary history or some bullshit. So we just learn from like like weird shit. Bottom point is that the smart kids don't give a fuck and don't even listen at all. It's so weird. I mean, I feel like it's that like should be true. Got, everyone gone retarded. That's why That's is. why I understand Miss Golden's class last year as a sophomore. We were honors. But she's like, you guys should be, like, doing all your work and getting everything done. You're fucking honors. And she literally does that fucking. She's one of those teachers. She doesn't give a fuck what she says in her class. But if there's another fucking principal, she's like, okay, guys, so we're going to do this. She's so fake. But um, All teachers are like that. Shut up. No, but some yeah, teachers are like that yeah. all the time. Miss Robinson, she doesn't give a fuck who walks in. She's still the same. Yeah, she doesn't change true. all of a sudden. Because she's, like, 80 years old. <laughs> she don't give a fuck. <laughs> she probably lived through all the Her wars. pussy don't give a fuck. It's done. Uh, pushed out a couple <laughs> kids. Oh. Ripped a couple times. That's fucking nasty. <laughs> that Her trap doors are ripped open. Ew. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> why are you do? Why are you saying ah? Can you feel your vagina ripping? I could feel like your I balls ripping in half. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's equivalent. Yeah. Uh, okay, so do you have Mr. Bonywell? Bonywell. Bonywell. Bonerwell. I Bonerwell. I don't know. I say different every time. Do you have him? No. Did you have him? Yeah. Okay, we were talking about Bert, because oh, I'm in our class is fucking stupid. And he said that giving birth is equivalent to peeing out a lemon from your dick. The pain is equivalent. So basically, it's not possible? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so giving birth is not possible? For you guys. Because Hector, I think you can pee out a stone. Pencil. You can pee out a fucking um, kidney stone. Kidney stone. Yeah. You have to, though. That's the only way you can get rid of it. Well, not the only way, but... I don't know. My mom told me... It's probably a myth, but it's probably true. I'm not sure. I can't tell. Because Mexican moms, I mean, they always have those myths. My God. They always have those fucking myths. What are your myths? Like, what does your mom say? Like, don't do this because of that. Or like, what? She, she tells me not to burn the tortillas. <laughs> don't burn the tortillas. Why? Well, those people don't get married. Yeah, it doesn't make any fucking sense. What the fuck? It's a tortilla. I, the, I don't see any connection between the two. Marriages there is and, none. But, yeah. Burn the tortilla. And be like, I'm not getting married, mom. But then, not even just Mexican moms. Like, a lot of women share it. Men, I don't know. I don't think we're as skeptical. I don't think Are so. Are we? What are you guys talking about? Unless it's like, I don't know, the older generations. It, it's probably like something like... The older generations probably. and like, like whatever. Like blondes, like that blonde thing. No. I don't think Blondes so. are dumber? Yeah. No. I think they are. Honestly. <laughs> they are. I mean, some Some-eyed are. They're blue eyed. Those girls are dumb as fuck. Some are. And those are actually, I learned in um, biology class that <laughs> those are actually mutations. You, they should actually be black haired and brown eyed, but you know, they're mutations, so their eyes change. Caitlin. Caitlin? She cheerleader? Yeah. Oh, I hate her. She's, so... she's too preppy and annoying. I mean, she's okay. She's nah. Girl. I mean,. She's I pretty. swear to God, sometimes I catch her eyes like doing that, like not cross eyes, but the opposite of that, where her eyes go in different spots. Sometimes I catch her eyes doing that. I'm like, what the yeah. fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> thought, I, was, I thought I was just looking at sh- weird shit. I thought it was high, but apparently someone else saw that. I think so, she does it when she looks at her phone. She's like, and I'm like, what are you doing? Are you are you looking at me? I gotta tell. <laughs> she wears so much makeup. She wears so much fucking makeup. I can't tell. What? 
I've seen lines, and I call you her. You can up. see lines. Oh well, yeah, she's probably lines, white. like white chicks, where you can like rip off the face and be like. And when you're like surprise, really bitch. white, it's really hard to find foundation that's like the same skin tone. Nah, so that. I don't think she purposely needs to have lines. Yeah, yeah, dude, I could see that shit. She wears a shit little makeup. Well, why are we judging? I mean, getting eraser and just like. I mean, she's still pretty. One time, one time, I guess her bra size, and I guess. Her <laughs> what is like an A? She's like, ah, oh my god, how did you know? Yeah. Right. It was, uh, I believe. Oh my god, you guessed it right. right. Now touch my boobs. <laughs> no, it was, no, it was a, a B, actually. She claimed to be. I don't know if it was a B. She claimed to be. I don't even know. Because, because you guessed a little bit on the bigger side, she's like, oh, she's like, oh, shit. No, wow, I mean, you can, better you, can tell, you can tell the difference between small titties. You can, you can tell the difference between A and B. I'm not good yeah. at titties. Like titties. I cannot tell titties. sizes of titties just like I can't tell what a car is unless I look at the symbol on the back. An A cup is like... You have a titty, but like you have it's little like, bells it's like on your guy fucking... boobs, like guy boobs, like your <laughs> yeah. boobs, like your hamburger boobs patties, like an A, like your like, boobs are like an A, like you have the nipple and like, like a, a little bit of chub. But then like a B cup is like your boobs actually starting to form, but it's not saggy enough yet to be huge. <laughs> and then a C cup is when your boobs starts to get that itty bitty little sag, and then that's like a good size. C cups are good sizes. See, you know what's nasty? Black girls. Theirs are flat as fuck though too. They have it depends on the girl essence, though. Essence and our seventh hour. If you ever see her, her boobs are like lines. They should have like lines like, like right shapes. There. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yes. 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 I've never seen like a black girl with like round boobs. Like round. Yeah. Don't they like separate? I have a feeling like when they yeah. use them like, down naked. They well, use, like... any any girls. <laughs> <laughs> Do your boobs separate? No. Any Anyways, boobs let's boobs let's scoot on like to the that. next topic because that's similar. <laughs> My tits. <laughs> So we were, I was heading to seventh period. We were standing outside the class because our teacher's never fucking there. And we have to wait for her to come. And uh, we have some time. Yeah, we're almost at the hour mark, sort of. And, okay. But I'll stay. Yeah. Okay. And then this one girl, Mia, she's watching me. She's like looking at me. Mia. She's looking at me from like the side angle. And I had my sweater on. My sweater, I don't zip up all the way because I like it kind of styled where like it zips down to the belly button. Sort of, kind of like that. Mm-hmm. What are you laughing at? Continue. Bitch. <laughs> I'm going to lose my weight. What about you? You're going to keep gaining. Nah. Yeah, you're going to gain daddy weight. Fuck no. Probably. Nah. You're going to gain daddy weight. Most guys do. Because he has to breastfeed. <laughs> what? Well, no, but she's going to want food, and then you're going to want some food, and it's just going to be a whole food Fuck fest. It. You didn't even get it in there, I did. You're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, yes. So she's like, Oscar, I swear to God, I saw that you had breast implants for a second. And I was like, what the fuck? We were laughing so hard. She got a big booty. She does. She has a big ass. And she's not complaining about mine. She's like, oh my God, like your ass is like, holy shit. Mine, doesn't, is huge, mine doesn't even move. And I'm like, see, see, your brown. I mean, it might sound a little gay. No, I know people. Wait, your ass is round. Najra told me that some of his guy friends, like when I was walking in the hallway, they're like, like "What the fuck? Butt. What does he walk yeah, up?" Yeah, she just has like, yeah. Yeah. But yours is just like round. She said C. Bubble butt. C <laughs> <laughs> double C yeah. facing each other. <laughs> Have you ever tried twerking? No, I don't know how to twerk. Have you seen me? I dance like Lord on stage. Let me say it. <laughs> like, I dance like that, like a fucking cricket, a grasshopper, a praying mantis trying to dance. I'm like, twerk, twerk, twerk. I don't know how to twerk. I don't know how to fucking twerk. I've seen people do it. I'm like, how the fuck does your ass jiggle? Like, it goes, it literally, it moves side to side and it claps. It's like, no I'm like, how the fuck do you cut? Not even muscle. It's like fat. Like, I know. That's why they wear There's sweatpants. Muscles. That's why they wear sweatpants and gym shorts in music videos. Fine. And their butts just. Sounds like a whole audience is clapping for them, but no. Most girls who have big asses have no muscle in their ass. It's just, it's just fat. 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 That's why it's called fat ass. Fat ass. I mean, I don't know. I would do squats, but I don't like the soreness. That's what I don't like about exercising. I don't like soreness. It's like for three days, I'm like, fuck. Because squat sores are the best, though. What the fuck do you mean? Like a... That sounds so weird. Squat. Why? Because well, I like my thighs being so wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I don't Are know why. Like, like one of those people who like pain? No. Well, there's some people. I'm not a masculine. I just like being sore. Shut the fuck up. I don't mean BDSM. I mean like some people, they don't, 
They don't give a fuck if they have a bruise. They'll touch the bruise. Like, I have a bruise on my knee because I fell the other day. And I was, oh. I, I kind of like touching no, it because it feels like, like a scratch. Uh-uh. It feels like, you know how when you have an itch and you're just like, ah. Uh. It feels like that when I touch it. I'm just like, oh, it feels like an itch, not like a bruise. No. Most bruises hurt because this one's almost gone. But it, I, I like it. It feels good. Not just, when it's an old bruise. When it's a new bruise, that shit is sensitive and it hurts. She's going to want her Terry in 27 foot. What? <laughs> What? You're gonna want your hair pulled. You're no, going to want to. Feisty. Okay, to be honest, I, I, I'm not gonna tell you with who, but do I, I know them, with who? No, I know. I told them. To I want to know with who. I told him. Why don't you tell me? I can't say that on my podcast because that's awkward. But can you tell me? I'm not gonna tell you. Can you just Roman. text me? It's probably Roman. I mean, he would never Roman. talk to me. Who's Roman? Roman Menzo. The first guy I ever liked. He's, he's this really like quiet guy. guy. He's this really he's quiet guy. You wouldn't know. Was him. he the one who sat behind me? Yeah. Quiet one? Yeah. He and he started gay. growing his hair out and dyed it black? Yeah. Yes. Why is he black? No, he's not. He's not gay. But why is his hair black now? Why would his parents allow him to dye his hair? He's fucking crazy, dude. <clears throat> crazy? Yeah. yeah. He's like, like gothic. Like he doesn't give a fuck about his um, family? He doesn't give a fuck about anything. <laughs> like, like the other day. Oh, we threw him in milk. But I mean, it wasn't in a mean way, you know? He was like sitting on the other side of the table and we just like sliced that shit. He just looked at us. Went back staring at him for nothing. He's scarier than Malik, I gotta say. Malik is pretty scary looking, though. Scary looking, but he he's soft. I didn't know him and his girlfriend broke up, so I went up to him at lunch, and I was like, where's your girlfriend? And he almost started crying. Aww. I felt so bad. I didn't know they broke up. I, I didn't even asked Priscilla, and I'm Dude, like, are you guys going? I fucking, Priscilla told me the first day they broke up. It's because like, he likes another girl. He wanted to break oh up with her. Oh, my God. Priscilla, I don't give a pussy. What is with commitment issues? What's I'll... up with everybody wanting to have sex? We are teenagers. You guys are teenagers Gross. in general. Gross. What about when you're on your period? When I'm on my period, I don't do shit. You know, you look at bulges and you're like, I look at everybody's dick. Every time, every day, like yeah, like at school. Yeah, I was like, oh, no, I'll just be sitting at my desk. I just look at everybody's crotch. <laughs> Some girls like you're looking at the other down. Oscar's crotch. He, the other Oscar, the douchey looking one with the fucking fixed ass eyebrows that I want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was looking at his crotch in seventh hour. Because he had like these weird ass like weird sweatpants. Pants. Like they they were like, like a design on the crotch. From but the that knees was it. Like, and the rest it was like a weird design. She was like, looking cool. at it. She's like, "What's on his like his dick crotch area?" And I'm like, <laughs> "What the fuck are you looking at? What the fuck are you looking at?" Well, I, there's I actually more weirdos cool. like that. People do that in the hallways. But I'm looking at your eyes right now, am I not? Well, yeah, but I'm not gonna stare at your dick if you're sitting right next to me. <laughs> if I'm talking to you, I'm not gonna stare at your dick either. Okay. <laughs> Stop. That's awkward. That's so weird. That's awkward. Hey, Oscar, la no, no, that's not fair. That's not fair. You have to talk English here. Nah. <laughs> no, don't. All my Spanish speakers are gonna understand. Like, what do you say? Nothing. <laughs> 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 Come on, let's pull it out. No, what the fuck? Who are you, Katy Perry? What's going Let on? me see your peacock. Katy Perry, is she so fine? Katy Perry is super I mean, sexy. of course you think that. Why? Why not? Uh-huh. Is there a warning? Does she have kids? Um, no, I think. Does she? I, I don't know what know. artists have kids or not. Probably in like five years, maybe. What the fuck? Hector's like getting ready to leave. Nah. He's little... getting ready to go take another hit. Nah, dude. I don't have yeah, any more dude. weed. Nah, dude. Ugh. I mean, I don't smoke. <laughs> Lion ass. We know the truth. It's okay. You know, if you weren't, you'd speak much faster than this. I know how fast you speak. Like, no, 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 no. Like, 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 no, 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 no. He speaks like that, sort of. He stutters. Nah. See, I'm not stuttering right now, cause you stuttered a few times earlier, though. I mean, yes, I still do stutter. <laughs> I do. 
Because I'm not slow, I'm like... No, I ain't slow. Processing. No, no, I'm not slow at all. I ain't slow at all. I mean, I don't know. Yes, because I don't want to talk fast. It doesn't mean I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Plus, I my, eyes, my eyes were never red. They were red. Are they red now? No, because you just put eye drops in them. They don't know this. They probably, you, I, I, how do we know? You're not lying. You could be lying. You could be lying. Hmm? Yeah. This channel, I could be lying. Yeah. What channel? What channel's lying? What are you doing, Oscar? Maybe ask Queen and Lati Queen Latifah in disguise. Latifah? How you do it? Oh, that was Wendy Williams. I'm just the whole time. Hector, can you take me to King Supers and we can go buy like bleach and cows? Bleach? Oh my god! I don't if I get outside right now, it's too cold out there. Might be cold to get hurt. <laughs> ah, no. Like your nipples don't get hard. Oh, Give him a so wedgie. Weird. Oh, no, not touching his underwear. Mm -hmm. I'm not touching his underwear. Whose underwear? I don't probably have shit stains. Who, well. my underwear? Yeah, you probably have shit stains. Nah. Nah. <laughs> no, he has cum stains. Tampoco. From all the masturbating, and then he doesn't wipe, he just puts it back. It's <laughs> <That's> fucking nasty. <laughs> Actually, does he get okay. all crusty? <laughs> That's nasty. <laughs> so you know what I haven't done in a while is astrology time, but there is no time for that because we're about to end this podcast. Time. Astrology time. I usually do it like last five minutes or something like that. I'll keep up with that in later episodes. Can we buy some chocolate though? Can we what? Buy some chocolate. Uh, no, because you're going to buy edibles. Nah, not much. Dirty ass. Like, we must get or something. I think I have chocolate upstairs like Snickers, Twix, Kit Kat. Are you going to get some blowjobs? What the fuck? What? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Hector's being weird. I was gonna. I perfectly tailored the topics of the podcast to have sexual, like, what should I call it? Because that's just the kind of person we think he is. The sexual perf. Me? Yeah, you're gonna yeah. be a perf in like 30 years, no, 20 no, years, no, 10 no, years, no. 5 years. When he starts getting wrinkles, remember? After high school. <laughs> After high school. When you move out, you'll be a perf. He'll, he'll buy himself a pair of, um,. <laughs> not tits. You'll grow you those. Don't want tits. Let's be real. <laughs> they're the struggle. But imagine if I did have tits, what size would they be? I mean, right now they're like double A's, which is really small. Okay, no. First of all, you you'll be fat. You'll be the fat girl with no titties. <laughs> <laughs> you ever see that? I'm they're yeah, like yeah. super small. So I have, I have the, like uh, way out here. My body's the shape of a pear, basically. Oh, Cindy God. Lopez. Cindy Lopez. Cindy Lopez. No, you don't Lopez. Know. Oh, that one bitch. The one that looks like a In her school. She looks like a fucking snow cone. A barrel. Barrel. A Ooh. barrel? A barrel with legs. A barrel with legs. No, She's just this one bitch in her school. What is she in? Actually, the girl in our seventh hour, though. She was in our seventh hour. Juliana? 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 Joanna. Joanna. Big She's Joanna. always yeah. in the... Her hair is always like... Workout. The ponytail thing. She runs... Yeah. She reminds me of a cat. A cat? A cat? Yeah. A cat? Because she's cat. just kind of like this, huh? A cat? Yeah. yeah. Have you seen Futurama? Yeah. You know that big pink robot? That's like, um, Crushinator. My name is Crushinator. No. And she's that fat, big old fat ass, pink ass robot bitch. No. Is she black? No. Pink. She's pink. Like, she's <laughs> no, a metal no, pink no, metal no, robot. I, but is, she, but is she black though? Like, no. <laughs> she's a robot. Wait, they could be black if you met No! White. She's not Ben is white. I guess. You put races on things that don't have skin tone? So what, what skin tone is this water that? bottle here? What the fuck? <laughs> no, no, no. Like, like Bender. Bender and... How do you know he's white? What if he's black? What if he's nice? Probably means like the, the actor. By the way he acts. By the way he oh. acts. Oh. I mean, anybody above any race can fucking smoke cigars all day and fucking drink beer and fucking... Say shit all the time. Say something about white people? <laughs> what the fuck? You are, you I are. not white. You're I Mexican, mean. but you're white as fuck. Like, you need a tan. So you don't like me? <laughs> Alright, that's fine. Okay. Whatever, we got 20 seconds left before this ends. You're nasty. Wow! You're nasty. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna let them you don't battle. Even this. Know me. We're gonna yeah, make them sumo wrestlers. We're gonna put oil yeah. on their bodies, and they're gonna fight. I know enough. 
Okay, guys. Anyway, guys. Like what? Sub oh, like, subscribe, share. I hope you enjoy. I'll see you in the next episode. Let's say goodbye. Let's say bye. Bye. Bye.